Hi, my name is Ralph. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create this simple fire effects in Unreal Engine 5. This is not gonna be a complicated effects to make, but you're gonna need some basic knowledge in Unreal to follow along. By the way, if you like this kind of tutorial, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I have more tutorial coming up in the future. You can also find this effects and much more on my Patreon if you are interested. First, start by importing those two textures in your folder. You are gonna find a link below to where you can download them. By the way, they are for free. In this file, you're gonna find two textures, a simple flickbook and a noise texture. Now let's create a new folder for the material. After that, let's right click and create a new material. Let's call it m underscore fire underscore zero one and double click to open it. Let's modify the shading model to unlit and the blend mode to translucent. Now search for the particle color and after that search for the multiply node. You can also hold M and left click to add another one. We're gonna add the texture coordinate. and also the panel node. After that, let's connect them like this. Now go back to the folder you import the textures, grab them like this and add them to your graph. Let's connect the panel result and the UV result in those texture. After that, let's give the speed Y of the panel a value of 0.3. If you want things to update while you're working on the graph, just check all options and the live update. Now grab the multiply node and connect them like this. Let's power the result by 0.6 to get a more crisp look. And after that, saturate the result to keep it between 0 and 1. Now let's wire the RGB of the particle color like this and plug it to the emissive color. After that, let's grab the alpha, 1 minus it, and search for the subtract node. Let's wire them like this, and finish the rest like so. Let's save this material, and after that, we're done. Now let's create a new folder for the FX. Inside of it, let's right click, go to the FX categories and choose a Niagara system. Click next and choose the fountain as the base. Let's name it NS underscore fire underscore zero one. And double click to open it. Let's go to the emitter state and change the loop duration to 4 seconds. After that, let's change the spawn rate to 50. 
Let's also modify this file location radius while those particles are gonna spawn to 25. Now in this sprite render, let's add the material that we just made. Let's delete the gravity and also the drag because we don't need them. Let's go to the initialize module and disable the initial color like this. Let's also change the lifetime of each particle to a minimum of 2 and a max of 4 seconds. For the size, let's modify it to the random uniform and give it a minimum of 50 and a max of 100. Now let's go to the velocity module and change the velocity mode to linear. Let's add 200 to the Z. Let's go back to the sprite render. Change the sub image size to 2x2 because we are using a 2x2 flipbook. And the particle update section, let's add the sub UV animation. Give the end frame a value of 4. Let's use the curve for the animation mode. And choose this one. Let's also give the loop count a value of 4. Now let's search for the scale price size and the particle update section. This is gonna be what we use to give the fire the desired shape that we want. Let's choose this curve and give this key a value of 2.5. Let's change the handle mode to break and modify the curve like this. After that, let's go to the scale color. Let's change the scale mode to this one. You should have a curve that looks like this. The top represents the color and the bottom represents the alpha. Let's give the first color a bright orange color like this. After that, click on the top bar to add another color. Let's add an even brighter orange color like this. Let's add another key to the alpha and give it a value of 0.8. This key is gonna control how fast each particle dissolves. You can also trick those and add more color to the curve as your preference. Now let's add the sprite rotation rate and the particle update section for some chaos. After that, let's add the curl noise force for even more chaos. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand. Let's also change the pond nose feel to make some particle go left or right. For that, let's convert it to a random range vector, this one. And add minus 1 for the minimum and 1 for the maximum and the x and the y axis. At this stage, we almost finish because much of the big work is already done. You can test it in your level to see how it looks. And you can also use this as a fire projectile if you want to. Now let's add some smoke by duplicate the first emitter. Let's reduce the spawn count to 10. After that, change the color to black. 
that also reduce the intensity of the first color. This is a little bit difficult to see here, but in a bright environment, you'll see it, and this will make the fire more believable. At this stage, you can keep adding more stuff like tiny particles, etc. But for me, I'll stop here. If you make it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.